So that was our input, our input areas. Uh, now we'll talk about our output areas. Uh, we'll start with the crossover. So each and every uh, output actually has the same, um, same output DSP config. Uh, so you can have a crossover here. And with the crossover, you can have obviously two levels. So this, if this was a, a high mid section, we could actually turn that off and have that here. We have up to the eighth order and down to the first order of uh, of roll off. But we'll use a fourth, and we can either bypass everything and not use it, so it's full range, or we can engage it. If it was a three-way system, not that that's going to be used that often, but uh, we can actually also pull this section down so we can actually just take a small section here. The green areas indicate the cut, the vacant areas indicate what is being let through into the system. Okay, so I will actually take that and cut that. So here we'll, we'll set up a, a, a uh, particular EQ. On the EQ we have seven bands of parametric available to the user for each and every output. Again, you have uh, the bell shape parametric, um, low shelf first and second, high shelf first, second notch and an all pass, second order available to you for all of these units. Take bypass off, you can adjust on screen same as you could before on the input EQ, again changing all different things on the screen. Now if we did a uh, particular EQ configuration here, um, like so, this maybe took uh, took quite a bit of time and uh, RTA in the room or, or analysing the room in some particular shape or format here. Uh, we'll pretend that that sounds actually really good. This obviously, this curve is not a uh, EV or a Bosch or a Dynacord speaker. It's using way too many filters. So uh, this is obviously somebody else's type of uh, EQ curve. And uh, doing that could have taken quite quite some time, but what I can do here is I can actually drag and drop. Instead of having to re-enter that information again and again, I can actually drag and drop to anywhere on screen. Down there. Or I can just undo with with a uh, with another unit. So it's a very quick way uh, to to be able to see what's going on um, and to be able to uh, adjust. Bosch. Invented for life.